un cinturón de la UFC. Es la marca de los campeones. Los mejores del planeta en cada categoría de peso. Look how happy that man is. Anything is possible. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. I've been dying my whole life now. Look at me now. Look at me now. I worked so hard for that. Now it's my moment. You never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something in your own life. Pero en 2019, el líder mundial de las artes marciales mixtas estrenó una coletilla única para ese codiciado premio. Diaz calls out Jorge. This thing took a life of its own. El título de BMF. The baddest in the game. Que coronó al ganador de una pelea estelar cargada de acción. Oh! Oh! Entre Jorge Masvidal y Nate Diaz. The eyes of the entire sports world are fixed on the historic BMF title fight. This is a fight for the ages. The winner of the BMF belt. Y desde entonces ha venido a celebrar una raza exclusiva de combatientes. It's happening again, folks. What's the measure of a champion? It's the measure of wins and losses of me. I say regardless of how many times he's fallen, we should judge a man solely by the heart that he's shown. Dustin the Diamond Boy y Justin de Highlight Gage fueron puestos en esta tierra para pelear. Justin Gage is fearless. Oh my goodness. Dude is powerful. Oh. That's a ball fighter, ladies and gentlemen. Dustin the Diamond Poirier. High output, high violence. The kind of fights I like to be involved in. Oh, oh my God. Con 24 bonos de pelea de la noche oh, that was oh, that was y 33 knockouts entre ambos. Estos ex campeones interinos de peso ligero garantizan juegos oh. artificiales en cada salida. Y en el UFC 291 en Salt Lake City, ambos protagonizarán una revancha de su thriller del 2018. Oh my goodness! Oh. Dustin Poirier by oh. Jugándose el título de BMF. El evento coestelar del 29 de julio verá al ex campeón de peso semicompleto Jan Blachowicz. I know this feeling when you are the champion, and now I lose the belt, and I want to get it back because I know how it feels. Double motivation I have inside me. Pelear contra el ex campeón de peso mediano, Alex Pereira. Es el UFC 291 Countdown. Ready to make? ¿Sabes que se va a ganar? Porque se está sacado. Daddy gotta go train. I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Prepare yourself for violence. On it, yes! Keep it. Keep it. Keep it locked and strong. Three, Make it count. two, one, and time. Wonderful. Y todo empieza ahora. What's the measure of a champion? Hay un diamante del pantano en el corazón del sur de la Florida, donde el top 5 del peso ligero de la UFC, Dustin Poirier, perfecciona la dulce ciencia que lo atrajo al combate. I started boxing in Louisiana. I was very interested in boxing growing up. I ran into some guys at a boxing gym who were working on their boxing for mixed martial arts, and I started talking to them. Yep, good angles. Two or three punches, turn. 
Six, seven months later, my wife drove me to my first fight. This is the king of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. He is just this massive bundle of potential and skill that needs to be home to the perfect fighting machine. Oh! Poirier is sharp with those hands tonight. Look at Dustin Poirier just pouring it on. Caught him again. I'm really impressed with this kid. Oh! Blasted him. That's it. That's it. No pasó mucho tiempo para que el nativo de Luisiana hiciera notar su presencia en la UFC. Oh! Big left hand for Hayden's hurt bad. Oh! He might be out. There it is! Yes! Yes! Hard work, baby! And Poirier really starting to improve upon the accuracy now. Donde Poirier sumó victorias con su buen boxeo. Oh! Down goes McGarrett! It feels good to be home, Louisiana! A implacable ofensiva. I don't care how much pain I go through. How much I bleed. I mean, look at those shorts. There's a little bit of white left at the very top. He puts himself in danger. Every time he's willing to stand there and just trade punches. He's here to fight, man. This dude is not intimidated by the moment. And there's a nice combination again by Poirier. Poirier is throwing lead. Dustin doesn't always have that mentality of being a safety first fighter. Turned on the approach. But we always go in there to get the job done. How long could Dustin Poirier fight the urge to actually do that? How long? <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time, and I grew up in this octagon. This is my life. This is how I eat. I got mouths to feed, and I want big fights. I have fought the who's who in mixed martial arts in the UFC. Champion after champion, top contender after top contender. Oh, oh. he him with that left hand. Alvarez in real trouble. They're brawling. This is what Poirier wants. And is forced to cover up. No more I fought the best of the best since I was 20 years old in here, man. I prove that I belong with the best in the world, earned where I'm at, and I'll be here as long as I want to be. Para el equipo de Boy, un capítulo particular en su épica historia es lo que tienen más presente. Well, if you like offense, Justin Gaethje just might be the most watchable fighter in mixed martial arts. Justin Gaethje wants to go to war. He wants to go to battle. He wants to get in there and sense fear from you. The guy lives for this stuff. Time to saddle up again, champ. Yeah, we both know what we're getting into, man. Oh, the left hook connected for Gaethje. Oh! Uppercut, right hand, big uppercut again. Oh, that's it. An unbelievable battle. This is just the only way Gaethje knows how to fight, man. Non-stop. Gaethje said it would be hard for Poirier to be patient with me in his face all night. Oh, nice combination by Poirier. Oh, oh yeah. That was heavy. Oh, wow. Both fighters landing in the pocket. This legendary chin of Justin Gaethje has been tested tonight. It took a lot, man. Yeah. Poirier did good work with his boxing. Oh, oh nice combination by Poirier. Oh, oh that kick. Those reactions are getting bigger and bigger. And that's because that leg's hurting. But Poirier doing a good job staying heavy on the offense, though. He's landing right back. He's not stepping back and just eating shots. He's landing back with Gaethje. This is what we expected. These guys fighting in a phone booth. Nice combinations. Right hand lands flush over the top for Poirier. My footwork was good this fight, man. I didn't sit in front of him. When I did, I, he hurt me in the third round. Oh. He's hurt. Dustin Poirier's hurt. And Poirier said he didn't necessarily fear the one-punch knockout power of Justin Gaethje, but he breaks a lot of guys who say, I've had enough. This guy's a maniac. And you saw Poirier move that right leg back. Just the thought of eating another one, and there goes Gaethje again. You're talking about two of the toughest fighters on this roster, top to bottom, putting on an absolute show tonight. Poirier now. Oh! Big left hand lands by Poirier. He's looking for the finish here. Gaethje hurt. Gaethje's hurt oh bad. Oh, my goodness. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Poirier continues to land. Oh. Dustin Poirier by Oh, knockout. my gosh. He does it. A wow. fight for the ages in Glendale. Wow. Goes to the Louisianan, Dustin Poirier. So Dustin Poirier dealt with the leg kicks. He dealt with the fellow legend, Justin Gaethje. Three, two, one, left foot in front. Yep, a little bit more. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. You got one more. Great job, Justin. I remember a lot of pressure with it being a home fight in Arizona. Good, stabilize your core. Wonderful, keep that. Um, from a small town. Good, don't lose it, keep it. Started wrestling really young. And then I got an opportunity to come up to Colorado and got a scholarship. I started fighting while I was wrestling in college. 
You know, the word tactical wasn't even in my vocabulary back in those days. I fought a specific way, and I was positive that that was the way that I was supposed to fight, so I knew I was going to keep going, and I fought that way against Justin Poirier. It's crazy watching Justin Gaethje fight because this is the way the fight goes every single time. And he beat that guy. The oh! seminal blow comes in round four, and Dustin Poirier closes the show. And we are in. Yep. And this one, I want you touching your face with your hands. Yep. Justin has gotten so much better from that fight. Good. Keep the speed with technique. Thank you. That's when he changed his mentality from being the most exciting fighter in the world. Go, keep it. Keep it. He wanted to be a champion. Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. Justin Gaethje is making another walk. Oh. Damn, good. Yeah, full heart. We started to fight a little bit more intelligently. Oh, it's wonderful, Justin. That way we don't give up our back home pulling, okay? Not just go out there and just throw heat and expect your chin to stand up. Gagey said, with this new approach, I hit so hard I can put anybody out. Oh! Big right from Gagey! Shoulder. This is a man with more bonuses than UFC fights. Oh, Gaethje with a left hook. Oh, I got him with an overhand right. It's over. That is it. Have you ever seen Whoa. anything like Justin Gaethje? You know, I'm more in control of my thoughts, my emotions. Ah, the one you have strong. My tactics, staying calm and not getting caught up in the moment. A smarter approach has led to two first round knockouts. Oh, without taking much damage. Justin Gaethje, my first round knockout. Again. I love it. Justin Gaethje se recuperaría con estilo de la derrota ante Poirier. He was great when he got here, but this is the best version of Justin Gaethje that we've ever seen. Logrando su objetivo de convertirse en campeón. Y aunque se ha quedado corto en sus intentos de apoderarse del oro indiscutido, the highlight está aún lejos del final. My career is my story, it's my life. Oh, huge right, Justin Gage. He said, I thrive in moments like this. On the biggest stage on planet Earth, having the most exciting fights you'll ever see. Every fight is just another chapter in this book. He's so fun, he's so physical, he's so gifted. Oh, oh. huge uppercut for Gage. And I enjoy the hell out of it. I'm taking one more run at the title, and I'm so glad you guys got to enjoy this with me. Thank you, guys. Oh, wow. Both fighters landing in the pocket. Nice combinations. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Poirier continues to land. Gaethje hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. Dustin Poirier by knockout. A fight for the ages goes to the Louisiana. Tras su victoria del 2018 sobre Justin Cage. The pressure from Poirier continues. Dustin Poirier siguió protagonizando peleas emocionantes. That is it. Con los nombres más importantes del deporte. That backer Magomedov, Khabib now on the retreat. Dustin Poirier He's got massive championship level experience. Oh, no, hurt him bad. Oh. He's elite. He's at that level right there. Oh, Oliver's in real trouble. A certified UFC legend. His future is in the UFC Hall of Fame. Dustin Poirier submits Michael Chandler. Y como Gage, Poirier se apoderaría del oro interino de peso ligero de la UFC. Oh, Poirier's all over him. Dustin's got him hurt. He was the first guy to really tease up Max Holloway. Y se quedó corto. En la búsqueda del cinturón indiscutido. Waria tiene ahora otra oportunidad de capturar un codiciado título en el octágono el 29 de julio. En una muy esperada revancha. UFC 291 on Saturday, July 29th. The main event will be five rounds between the number two and number three lightweights in the world. Former champion Dustin Poirier takes on another former champion, 
Justin Gaethje for the vacant BMF title. What's up, New York? El título de BMF fue creado para celebrar una raza particular de peleador. This is for the baddest in the game. Cuyo estilo contundente garantizará fuegos artificiales. Diaz, just relentless. Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz have always done it their way. And now the moment has arrived. The BMF title is on the line. And two of the truest fighters to ever grace the octagon. The crowd get behind Masvidal as advertised this BMF title fight. Y fue capturado por un compañero de equipo similar a Poirier. The first BMF champion was my boy, Jorge Masvidal. I grew up in the gym with him. When I first came to American Top Team, he was already a name in combat sports. Undefeated in the streets. He started scrapping at 14 years old. He has put Miami on the map. Oh! The guy's a vet, and he was the first BMF. I gotta get both legs. With the inaugural BMF champion hanging his gloves up. It's been a long 20 years, 50-something fights. I love all of you. Walking away. I'm out, y'all. 305 for life. Let's put it back on the line. Casi cuatro años después de su creación, ese premio único está de vuelta. Dustin Poirier, he's not trying to get anybody out of there quickly. He's trying to drag you into deep water and hold you under because he thinks he can hold his breath longer. Only certain times throughout the UFC is there going to be an opportunity when a perfect storm comes together where two guys make sense to fight for the BMF belt. That's why this is special to me. You know you got an appetite. It's not an undisputed title, but man, being a bad <laughs> that's something else. We are not the same. He's trying to break you. But fighting my whole life, you treat it like a game. And of course it's significant to keep the belt here at American Top Team. I know Dan Lambert has his trophy cases up front, and he'd be proud to put another one in. I want to take this time to thank America's top team. These are people that helped me make this moment possible. There's a reason that this belt was created for fights like this and guys like Dustin and Justin. Oh, wow. This is what we expected. These guys fighting in a phone booth. George St. Pierre may be the greatest fighter of all time, and everybody wants to see George St. Pierre fight, and he was an amazing fighter, but you don't look at George St. Pierre and say he's the BMF. We are not the same. Nice combination by Poirier. You're not going in there and having a slobber knocker where blood's flowing and every fan's going crazy throughout the whole fight. No, I ain't playing oh! The two BMFs in the company right now are looking for fights. What better to do than match them up against each other? But I can see through you. Five rounds, me and Justin. The style of fights that we put on. It's gonna be nasty, man. Ah! El cinturón de BMF impone respeto en el juego del combate representando valentía, determinación e innumerables atributos que se aplican a quienes se ganaron la estima de sus colegas. Y la anticipación es palpable con el equipo Gage. This belt is a little different. The bad mother after belt. Everybody knows it's a UFC fan. These two guys deserve this belt more than anybody. Five seconds, good job, keep that. You don't find fights with Dustin that aren't exciting. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Pat, good. Pat, good. I love it. You don't find fights with Justin that aren't exciting. Eight, nine, ten on the side. Go. Hold me on. Technique. Thank you. We ready for war, so know it's convenient. Ain't gotta be ready if you stay ready. Ready and now, we coming for toss. If you remember the first fight, it was absolute fireworks. You know they're gonna bring it again this time. 
They always do, and for five rounds, you know you're gonna get your money's worth. Just know it is, in all time, we came equip heavy with more. The BMF title, there's only one in the whole world. I'm proud of that. I'm one of the guys that gets to fight for that. Fundamental today, sharp. No matter how tactical or aggressive I'm being. I love it, Justin. Keep your shifting. Kick at the right time. People's eyes are just popping out of the head, and they can't believe what they just witnessed. Oh, now Keiichi loading up with a hand. And the power in that shot. I mean, you could hear that. Good work, guys. I love it. Good work. This is entertainment. This is the entertainment business. Oh! Huge uppercut for Keiichi! Justin, beautiful. I already love this round way more. And that's the fight you want to watch. And there's the takedown to finish. Be smart, yep. Thank you. Win position, baby. This is a car crash for the ages. Keep working, keep working. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going, keep going. Good work, Justin Gaethje. Ah, wonderful, guys. Excellent. We're out here at Arrowhead Golf Club, second annual Justin Gaethje Golf Classic. Got a bunch of family, bunch of friends. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time today. El ex campeón interino de peso ligero de la UFC, Justin Gaethje, a menudo se le encuentra relajándose en las colinas de Colorado entre 18 años, donde este día. El nativo de Denver usa su pasión para retribuir. I work with an organization out of Texas, Hero Sports. A bunch of veterans that set up different things to get bets together, to promote the camaraderie that they're all kind of missing. This is the second annual tournament that I'm putting on for them. We've got a lot of cool stuff available for you guys, so don't miss out on those raffle tickets and the silent auction. I have a human services degree. Social work was what I was gonna do, so working with people, working with organizations is something that I enjoy. We appreciate Justin putting this on. His family's here today to support him. We've got the UFC here, so thanks for everybody being here. Especially veterans. I didn't serve, so I want to give back as much as I can to those guys. We rollin'! Money to make, boys! Ready to make. We had 120 golfers out here today. We're probably on track to raise at least $50,000 from the tournament. Come around. We had a lot of great sponsors involved that are affiliated with UFC. All of them have stepped up big to support the veterans this year. Let's go, boys. Nice shot, Justin. Put an all-star team together trying to win this thing this year. Nice! I don't think we're gonna take first, but we did finish 10 under. Yes! Whooping! That's what this is, boys. Got to play with my mom all day. She just picked up golfing, so I, you know, I loved having her on my team. Come on, we're good. You shall get lucky one out of 18 shots. My dad got to kick his butt. That's it, Ray. A couple of my coaches, so it was a great day. <laughs> he don't know that about old dad straight. I want to really thank you guys for coming out and supporting such a great cause. Second year in a row, hopefully you'll be back next year. Any chance I can, I try to raise some money for these guys. And I love to support vets. I didn't serve, so it's the least I can do. Thank you. And thanks again. Thanks for coming. What's up, girl? 
de vuelta al sur de la Florida. Let me see that too. Let me see you too. El oponente de Cage el 29 de julio, Dustin Poirier, espera ansiosamente la presencia oh, de su familia, que pronto impregnará las semanas finales del campamento de entrenamiento del UFC 291. I'll tell you, three days. Una rutina que Parker Poirier comprende cada vez mejor. Hey, what you want to do when you get here to Florida, girl? Uh, I kind of want to do the gym tables again. I like the gyms. Yeah? As my daughter gets older, she understands what I do for a living, but she was born into it. She's been helping me roll out mats and hitting the bag since she was walking. Hey, mom told me you're going to do gymnastics here. We're going to put you like in a gymnastics camp, like a short one, so you can still practice. Yeah. I do the first week of camp by myself, kind of temper myself into the workload, get a schedule together, and then my family flies in a week later. Hey, you was hitting the punching bag? Yeah, until my, my hand started hurting, so I just went on the ropes. Yeah, <laughs> but you're pretty tough. It's great to have him here with me. I can come to the gym, be the tough guy, be the hard worker, do two a days, but every time I go back home <laughs> and I walk through the door, my daughter's there, and I don't have to be a fighter. All right, baby. Daddy got to go train. I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. I can go home and be a dad. It's all about balance, man. I don't have to do this anymore. Me and my family are good. What gets me excited about fights now, where I'm at in my career, is fights that make me nervous, like this Gaethje fight. Justin Gaethje is brutal, and he wants to inflict damage on anybody that dare step foot in the octagon with him. I need the danger. I need the fire. I need the uncomfortable. The guy is an absolute savage. He was put on this earth to fight. The most exciting fighter in the world. Pick your poison, be careful, because this man's deadly. If the name gives me those butterflies, if I know this could be bad, those are the ones I take. And it's gonna be that kind of fight. Now I'm coming for you. Now I'm coming for you. Let's go. El 29 de julio en Salt Lake City. Estos peleadores natos se enfrentan una vez más en una revancha con fuegos artificiales garantizados y con la corona al más malo en juego. They are two of the realest, most respected fighters in the game. Both men are richly deserving of this opportunity. The BMF title is on. I see myself using my athletic ability. Oh my God! Oh. Gaethje loves the chaos. Beautiful combination from Gaethje. He's one of the toughest men alive. Creating damage. He just destroys everything in his path. Oh! oh. Overcut causes the knockdown! I'm gonna go in there and play a 50-50 car crash match, and one of us gotta go. Justin Gaethje is fearless. It won't be easy. He's trying to dominate and break you. It's it's a a but I see myself beating him again. Oh! oh. Big left hand lands by Poirier. Hates you nearly out on his oh. feet. Poirier continues to oh. fight. Oh, my Justin goodness. Poirier by no. knockout. It's go time. It's going to deliver. It's as simple as that. Yeah, this is the fight, man. This is the fight. El evento coestelar del UFC 291 verá el regreso del bicampeón de kickboxing Alex Pereira, cuyo tiempo en el ring lo vio conquistar múltiples títulos y dos victorias sobre el campeón de peso mediano de la UFC Israel Adesanya. Y ahí fui ganando, fui campeón, campeón duplo de Gloria, donde yo vi que yo tenía hecho todo en el kickboxing. One of the most ferocious fighters that has ever entered into the sport. He is a truly exceptional striker. Es lo que yo siempre soñé también, el MMA. Oh, my goodness, this man is a monster. It's a different kind of power. You can't stand in front of that man. 
Pereira ingresó a la UFC con solo cuatro peleas profesionales en artes marciales mixtas. Pero su rivalidad con el actual campeón Israel Adesanya justificaría su rápido ascenso. Yo tuve la oportunidad né, de estar disputando el cinturón en un antiguo conocido, né, que era Israel Adesanya. Alex Pereira has two head-to-head -head kickboxing wins against Adesanya. Oh, good left up here. Oh, Israel Adesanya has never been beaten at 185 pounds. Oh, my goodness. This is where Alex is dangerous. There's that left hook. Adesanya's on wobbly legs. Two more. Here in bed. Down goes the champion. Pereira trying to close the show. That'll do it. Brazil's Poetan, Alex Pereira. As many of you know, thrice now in combat sports, he has solved the puzzle. That is Israel Adesanya. And although Pereira now is the undisputed UFC middleweight champion, what is also undisputed, the last style bender's undeniable conviction that in this historic series, tonight will finally be his moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Claro, teve essa última luta contra o Israel, aonde eu tentei fazer a minha primeira defesa. Oh, jab to the body and a right hand up top. Is he's got to be careful here? The hand is so dangerous. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. oh. right from Adesanya. Put it down and out. Oh. Order restored. Adesanya has finally done it. E isso faz parte, né, da minha carreira, né, da minha história, mas todo mundo que me conhece sabe que isso não me desanima, né, são dificuldades que acho que todo mundo passa em um trabalho, e esse é meu trabalho e eu tenho que passar por isso para voltar mais forte. Aunque ahora está parejo con Adesanya en las artes marciales mixtas, Pereira ha elegido seguir adelante con nuevos oponentes y en una nueva categoría de peso. People are talking a lot about whether or not Alice Pereira needs to move up a weight class because he's so big. I think the weight cut was hard. Pereira walks around like 40 pounds heavier than 185. He's huge. I wonder how long he could do that. I wonder if Alex is like, I'm gonna go up to 205. Eu decidi isso né, um pouco antes né, da minha última luta contra o Israel Adesanya. Mas a minha próxima luta agora, no meio pesado, é uma outra categoria, né? Essa minha estreia no meio pesado. Com certeza são atletas mais pesados, então estou fazendo um trabalho de força. Estou aí com essa nova oportunidade de estar... Disputando aí, chegando próximo já desse, desse título também no meio pesado. Jan Bohovic is a destroyer, one of the biggest one punch knockout artists in the history of the light heavyweight division. Em sua primeira pelea em las 205 libras, Pereira enfrentará uno de los mejores finalizadores de la divisão. Blachowicz, he gets the victory! Look to Marina Kichou! Oh, and he gets the top! que ejerce lo que Jan Blachowicz llama legendario poder polaco. Oh, he throws him. Big right. Polish power. Jan Blachowicz. Y que usó para apoderarse del oro del campeonato de la UFC. Nice. I like that combination. Some nose damage for Reyes, who covers up here. Oh, big left. Reyes in a world of trouble. Jan Blachowicz has done it. He's the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Pero desde entonces Blachowicz ha vuelto a la contienda tras una sorprendente derrota ante Glover Teixeira. This is a bitter, bitter moment for Jan Blachowicz. Y en su última salida, una pelea por el título contra Magomed Ankalaev que terminó en empate. It's so disappointing to have such a great fight like that and have no conclusion. That was weird emotion after the drop. 
I cannot be sad because I don't lose the fight, but I cannot be happy because I don't want the fight. Bohovich is attacking that lead leg. I was so close to win the fight. Oh, that one really bothered Akalayev. Two more kicks in the leg and it will be over. And I will be the champion again. Bad times create strong people. I try to understand why these things happen, what I'm doing wrong. I just try to use this bad experience in the good way. Now I need to work a little bit more to take the belt again. I always thinking about my next step. Alex is great sportman, great fighter. Then when I hear that he go to light heavyweight, I ask for this fight. I can be the first two or five guy who will beat him in our division. La pelea con Pereira el 29 de julio será la cuarta vez que Jan Blachowicz dé la bienvenida a un peso mediano que asciende. Y al igual que Pereira, los anteriores tenían como objetivo repetir su éxito previo. El ex campeón Luke Rojo. El ex campeón de Strike Force, Jacaré Sousa. Y el monarca reinante del peso mediano Israel Adesanya. You better put some respect on his name because Izzy was undefeated and Jan beat him in a stand-up fight. Todos frustrados por Blachowicz, quien pretende hacer lo mismo contra Potan. I've got experience with the middleweight guys. I fight against Adesanya. He never lost like in MMA before. I was better fighter in that night. So I'm ready for Alex. He will be very strong in 205 because he's a big fighter. But I believe that my power will be bigger. And I break him. En el corazón de Europa Central. El mejor peleador de Polonia trabaja duro. Preparándose para el evento coestelar del 29 de julio en Salt Lake City. Pero el ex campeón de peso semicompleto Jan Blachowicz siempre encuentra tiempo para retribuir. Dzień dobry. We are in Warsaw, in the Institut Matki Dziecka. It's like a hospital for the kids who are sick for the cancer. We are with the Foundation Cancer Fighters, so we are come here to give them some presents. <laughs> Talk with them, make they forget the troubles what they've got. Dobry? I have to use my face, my name to to support foundation like this. Hop, hop, dobrze, jeszcze raz. Most of them, they recognize me, so they're just happy that they can see me, shake my hands. Czy masz się? I dobrze. Trzeba, trzeba walczyć do końca, nie? Nie poddajemy się. Nigdy się nie poddajemy, zawsze. Dawaj sparing z mistrzem. Czemu mnie wszyscy chcą bić tutaj, przychodzę zawsze? Jak masz imię, czy Boris, against Boris. We see the... You know, smile on the faces, and that's the most important thing. Hey, hey, Pach, you lost me. I have to do it for them. Our fight is nothing, you know. They've got very serious fight over there. No, I should put school and to Bruce. Or, 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 or
Veš tam za mne revanš, veš mu pôjdu. El campamento de entrenamiento del UFC 291 está lleno de energía positiva. Y una camaradería que está siempre en aumento. Brinda aún más confianza. My gym is very good because we've got good atmosphere. We are friends, keep together, support together. When I do fight, they help me after my fight. If I don't have any injury, next day I'm in the gym and help them. So it's perfect. I've got what I need to be in the best shape in the fight. Tak, dwa razy, dwa razy. Raz dajemy wejść, za drugim razem bronisz, a on sobie szuka drugiego dojścia. Un ambiente jovial no distrae al equipo Blachowicz. Del imponente ex monarca del peso mediano Alex Pereira. Quien espera por ellos en Utah. Jeszcze po rzucie do już, jak masz stabilizację, zaznacz parę uderzeń. Wybierz sobie go i zaznacz. Alex Pereira is very, very high skilled striker, but Jan is a complete MMA fighter. On nam fajnie właśnie na tomach tytułą bije tego lewego, żeby ona wchodziła tutaj, na pewno zasięgu. Potrafisz go długiego uderzyć, więc, więc on dobrze wygląda. Gotowy? Hop! There is a big gap between them in MMA. Pełny zasięg, wyciągaj i wciągaj ręce do góry. Przednia ręka pracuje. Nie stoisz, cały czas się ruszasz. So we're going to take that advantage and we're gonna use it to win that fight. I know how tough I am, I know where am I. My style and his style, when you connect it, Gonna be fireworks. Los, los. Denbury, Connecticut. Ha sido durante mucho tiempo el lugar adoptivo del ex campeón de peso semi completo de la UFC Glover Teixeira. Y al igual que el ex monarca ahora retirado, el también brasileño Alex Pereira ha hecho su hogar permanente de este enclave del noreste americano. Casa nueva, ¿no? Sueño realizado. ¿no? Feliz de más. No sport, ¿no? 15 años, ¿no? casi 15 años, ¿no? En esta lucha, ¿no? Y gracias a Dios, ¿no? Una gran conquista. La expresión es esa. No muda, pero muy feliz. Yo garanto para ustedes. La principal persona de yo estar aquí hoy, con certeza, sin duda ninguna, es el Glover. Glover sempre me apoiando, desde o primeiro dia que eu cheguei até hoje. Acabou, 21. Não, agora tem que ser eu e o Glover. Now we go to the face off, you know? Just me and him, you know? Sua casa, você acha que você vai ganhar? Porque você tá na sua casa? Você vai ver. Você vai ver. Você vai tirar isso aqui. Vai! Eu me encantei, eu falei, o meu lugar é aqui. E aí eu fiquei. Olha lá. Aí eu ganhei, pô. Ganhou? É. Bom demais. Eu deixei. A presença de Teixeira beneficia o campamento de treinamento de Pereira em mais de um sentido. No solo trae conocimiento de haber derrotado a Jan Blachowicz. Glover's into the mount here. Blachowicz forced to give up his back. Oh, my God! Oh, that's it! Glover Teixeira breaks through! He's the undisputed light heavyweight champion! Sino también de poseer un gimnasio donde puede invitar a compañeros selectos como el antiguo adversario de Pereira, Sean Strickland. Oh! Good hook you got there. Good hook. Let's fight again. Don't knock me out this time. I need some sparring. Who better to spar than the guy that beat me? Sometimes these smaller gyms are way better to develop you as a fighter. 
you don't have a million different guys bumping into a million different coaches. You got a good core group, so it has a good flavor here, and I can see why Alex is successful. Combo back and full, guys. Get the combo sharp. Stay elbows in. Chin down, not head down. Chin down, not head down. A guy like that come and helping Alex. Hope we can help himself a little bit too. Block it. Now you jab it. I punch it and I throw up a cut and a kick. It's a great opportunity for us, for the whole team to learn from different people. I think the chance to look at my match down on the trainers. Quanto eu e quanto ele, a gente vai usar essa 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 força, colocar em prática o que a gente vem vem treinando. Two in the bag, let's get it. Last round, guys, last round. Let's get it done. Oh. Oh. Sempre difícil, mas eu tô treinando muito bem para essa luta. Oh, oh. hit him, knock him out. Nine, ten, all right, good job, guys. That's it. Eu acho que o Blauvis é o adversário perfeito para mim. A minha próxima luta no UFC 291 vai ser um show. Todo mundo tá vendo, né, o que eu fiz, né, e o que eu venho fazendo dentro da organização, impor um ritmo sempre agressivo, é andar para frente, pô, metendo porrada. Depois dessa próxima luta, é disputar o cinturão. Pode, Thiago. UFC 291. I see two ways of winning. I will knock him out or take him down and submit him. There it is! Submission victory for Jan Blahovic! Minha próxima luta contra o Blahovic vai ser uma guerra. You cannot stand in front of that man. Los pesos semi-completos preparan el escenario. He can shut your lights out. Para el thriller en las 155 libras que encabeza el UFC 291. Oh! Gaethje oh! with a cracking right. Big shot for Poirier. Cuando los ex campeones interinos de peso ligero Justin Gaethje. Oh! Oh, he stung him. Y Dustin Poirier. Big shot by Dustin. Oh! oh! Peleen por el título único en su clase de BMF. Todo será en Salt Lake City, Utah. El 29 de julio.